In the last video, we saw that the area of any quadrilateral can be expressed in terms of its sides. Today, we shall express a diagonal in terms of its sides and also prove Ptolemy's theorem. Our first step would be consider a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD with sides A, B, C and D and diagonal AC, BF. By applying cosine rule in triangle ABC and triangle AB, ADC, we can say that f square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab cos b and f square is also equal to c square plus d square minus 2cd cos d. We know that in a cyclic quadrilateral the opposite angles are supplementary. So we can write cos d as cos 180 minus b. And we know that cos 180 minus theta is minus cos theta. So this can be rewritten as c square plus d square plus 2cd cos b. We will now equate these two equations. Thus we will get that a square plus b square minus 2ab cos b is, is equal to c square plus d square plus 2cd cos b. We'll send these here, send this here. a square plus b square minus c square minus d square is equal to 2 cos b ab plus cd. Therefore, we can say that cos b is equal to a square plus b square minus c square minus d square divided by 2 AB plus CD. Let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Now I will substitute equation 2 in equation 1. Therefore I will get F square equal to A square plus B square minus 2AB A square plus B square minus C square minus D square minus c square and d square by 2ab plus cd. 2 to cancel. Now I'll take the LCM. Thus I will get cd minus ab into a square plus b square minus c square minus d square whole by AB plus CD. Now, now I'll open these brackets. Therefore, we will get A cube B numerator equal to A cube B plus A square CD plus AB cube plus b square cd minus a cube b minus a b cube minus plus a b c square plus a b d square these things will go Therefore, the, the numerator is a square cd plus b square cd plus a b d square plus a b c square. I will erase this part and continue here. First, I'll take these two terms, these two terms, and then I'll group these two terms. 
in these two what can be taken out common AC so I will write this as AC into AD plus BC and similarly in these two I can take out BD as common so I'll take out BD then what will remain BC plus AD whole thing by the by the denominator that was AB plus CD this I can write it as AC plus BD divided by AD plus BC by AB plus CD what is this equal to? F square F square is equal to AC plus BD into AD plus BC divided by AB plus CD okay similarly we can conjecture that BD square that is this diagonal which I can write it as G G square is equal to AB plus CD into AC plus BD divided by AD plus BC now let's see what happens if we multiply F square and G square that is F square into G square is equal to AC plus BD AD plus BC AB plus CD AC plus BD by AB plus CD AD plus BC hmm? F square into G square is equal to AC plus BD whole square therefore we can say that F into G equal to AC plus BD we have F equal to AC and G equal to BD so we can write that AC into BD equal to AC plus BD this beautiful formula this beautiful theorem is known as the Ptolemy's theorem 